I hate this place. What's up, folks? Welcome back. Long time no see. Took about a week off. Uh, I was away. I'm back. And then I'm going to be away again as I move. I'm really sorry about it, but I really missed everybody. I've missed all of this. Oh, yeah, my face. So uh, <laughs> I've grown a bit of it back. Uh, this is, when did I, when was the Fitty fundraiser? That was the 20th, right? 19th, 20th? So we're looking at like, uh, a week and a half, a little over that for, uh, the, the growth. So I feel pretty back to normal, to be honest. I don't look at myself in the mirror and go, oh, who's that guy? Um, so it doesn't take that long to get back to a place of familiarity. What's up, PJ? Um, hey, Dingus, good to see you. My birthday is tomorrow and this is a nice uh, present. Well, thank you. Uh, for showing up sideways, sideways priorities, and happy early birthday. Um, I don't usually stream on Wednesdays, for the record, but I, I got back from vacation yesterday, or the day before, um, and I'm doing Survivor for the patrons tomorrow, So and then I'm moving on Saturday, so I'll be packing up all my, like, this shit on Friday, um, and then I'm hoping that everything will be good to go for Tuesday. So that's kind of what we're looking at. Um, unfortunately, it's just kind of a, a big wrench in the plans of really everything. I, I was hoping I could get my video done uh, by the time I got home from vacation and before moving, but that's just not going to happen. Um, so, you know, it's been a bit of a dry spell for, for Patty stuff, but um, we're going to be getting back into the swing of things what once August hits. This so, question? Um, I would, I mean, here's the thing. I can't guarantee that I will be physically capable of finishing DDD level one, which is what we're doing. I hate this place. The oft-repeated sound drop there. I would like to finish it. I will do my best to finish it. Um, I'd like to give it an honest try. Not just this stream. You know, if I can't get it done today, which I doubt I will, um, I will continue it, uh, you know, in the future. Uh, before we get into that, though, also, what the hell is a golden kappa train? What is this fucking gen alpha bullshit happening on my OBS? You have a limited time to earn an exclusive Golden Kappa emote for 24 hours, okay? I don't know what that means. Uh, Nick, thank you for the year. Pat pilled for an entire year, that's right. Pat pilled and GERD maxing, congratulations, Nick. Also, thank you to Sylvan Shroom for the 26 months, appreciate that as well. Um, let's get the, uh, I know this is probably not what Vaka wants to hear on the last day of Women's History Month, uh, the first day of Women's History Month Eve, but this is, finish the Vexen quote, which is all typing. This is by Just James. You know the drill on these. Uh, you're gonna see a quote from Vexen from any of the games. It'll be a blank and you have to fill in the blank by typing in the correct word. Um, so do it, do it please. Uh, Dust a monster with the two years. Thank you so much. That's right. Returning to DDD level one, and you're playing Sly Three. How about that? Uh, one of these days, I'll get to Sly Four. I know that people aren't super, you know, into that, but I will do it at some point. Trash Prime sixty nine. Thank you for the nineteen months. Thank you so much. And T Mac, thank you for gifting a sub to Night Sky Seth. Appreciate that as well. 47 from T-Mac. Fuck it, let's Kappa. Yeah, I, again, I I don't know what that really means. Um, we're at 50% on level 2 of Golden Kappa Train. I don't know, man. This is like when they introduce new sauces to, to fast food restaurants. Or it's the Grandma McFlurry. Like, whatever, fuck it. Whatever. We're in, we're in monumental decline. Let's just throw shit at the wall and see what sticks. Um... <clears throat> I don't know. I just called to get internet set up at my new place. Hopefully it's good. That's like my my chief concern. That's why I'm like tentatively, I think I'll be good to go on Tuesday, but God knows my luck. It's going to be a big fucking to do. Um, yeah, Frutune, one of us is going to have to change. So um, I'm moving first. <laughs> so I was actually supposed to move on uh, Friday, but we pushed it back a day just to then I can have family members help me on the weekend, you know. Uh, Kappa Train was that problematic Nick cartoon. Yeah, he was animated like like traditional Western style, and then he went to Japan where they were all anime style. Kappa Train. Honestly, though, I love the theme song to Kappa Mikey. Uh, I didn't bother you on your last vacation, did I, Vodka? I mean, I know my existence is bothersome to you, but I don't think I, like, contacted you directly. Um, when she was in Canada back in... When was that? When was the friendship tier list? Probably, like, the spring, right? Uh, okay, but you signed up for Survivor knowing that it would go 
you know, several months, so that's on you. I will fully own up to contacting Vodka for the friendship uh, tier list. Yeah, so Buffoon has been a help in this sort of project that came up with while I was on vacation. Um, you know, oftentimes regular GF will be asleep and I will not be tired, so I'll just be up on my laptop. And I was like, I want to do a cartoon theme song bracket. I don't know if it's going to be all the way in March or do we just do it to do it at some point just to have fun with it. But I, uh, I want to do that. And uh, Buffoon compiled a lot of cartoon theme songs for me. Um, <clears throat> well, it didn't have to go on Canada Day, but everyone else is so fucking busy. So that's why, I mean, <laughs> I got to do it tomorrow when I'm supposed to be streaming. So it's there's a lot to juggle. What's up, Birdie? Um, I'll give it a minute or two for last call on Vexen quotes. Um, my initial idea with the cartoon theme song bracket was to do a song from each year as to not be so homogenous with like okay here's all of the 2000s nickelodeon shows you know which you'd still get a decent few of them but it's like you know from like 99 with spongebob to like 2006 ish there's like a lot of iconic uh you know cartoon nickelodeon theme songs and it's like well we're gonna have all of those which we could you know um but i was going by like all right i'm gonna look at most like the best theme song of each year in my opinion and some of them are stacked like I looked at 99 and I was like, okay, I know people have, you know, mixed opinions on the trajectory of shows like both SpongeBob and Family Guy, but divorcing the quality of the show and how they've ebbed and flowed from the song, I'm like, I don't know, I think I kind of I kind of think the Family Guy theme song is better than the SpongeBob theme song. Um, I do think whatever year Kim Possible came out, I had that listed as the best song of that year. Um, I didn't get through all of it, so let me see if I could find uh, what I have so far. Um, and I'll probably, like, meld what I did with what Buffoon prepared. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, how do I go... I feel like I remember liking the Cyber Chase theme song, but I didn't get around to that one when I was... Uh... I think the Flintstones should be in it, you know? Um, I had it going all the way back to 1960. I didn't Again, I didn't finish the, the process, but... Uh, what's up, Jason? Uh, when was Kim Possible? That was 2002. So I, I gave like a second and third place just to give us an idea of what was around that time. So like the second place I had Chalk Zone and then third place I had Jimmy Neutron. Like those are both fine. but the And I didn't watch Kim Possible really at all. But the theme song blows both of those other songs out of the water. Um, but then there's other ones where I only like picked one from that year. Um... So, do, 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 do. Yeah, please follow Jason and watch him play League. He does it all the time. <laughs> um, is my new bedroom going to have neon wire lighting and those cube shelves in the background? I hope not. <laughs> That's not part of my plan. Uh, I'm not, I'm not opposed to the lighting, but I feel like the cube shelves are so cliche. Um, and I, I'm actually kind of opposed to the lighting as well. Regular GF is going for a maximalist style, so she just wants things to look kind of weird, <laughs> which I'm all about. Uh, I'm into it. Um, will I play the Nier series? I would like to. Um, I don't know about on stream, but... Or maybe. I mean, that, that could be fun. I feel like there's some crossover there. Also, like, Ben 10. Never watched a shred of Ben 10, but that was 2005. And it was up against some Nickelodeon shows like Cat Scratch and The X's. And Ben 10 just has a better theme song. Um, I had to think about it, T-Mac. I had to talk through it. I was like, well, actually, now that I think about it, not so good. Um... So yeah, anyway, also, like, uh, Doug versus Rugrats, I fucking hated Doug. I thought Doug was so boring, but Doug has got a, you know, way better theme song than Rugrats. So, all right, you ready? You ready to do some, uh, some Vexen quotes? Um, the Cat Scratch theme song is not bad, but I thought Ben 10 was better. All right, let's, uh, let's put my code in here. One, five, nine, three, six, seven, eight. And, um, obviously, I'm gonna be Scientist Patty. Also, um, I'm gonna need a lot of help on the DDD level 1 that's kind of coming up after this book it because I don't really know what I need to do. Like, vaguely, I need to, like, get drop points to Sora. It's just gonna be such a fucking grind fest. It's gonna be so boring, but, um, bye, Fruitoon. So, I just need some direction. Yeah, Nick, I need more help, please. Thanks. Okay. This is Finish the Vexen Quote by Just James. You'll see a quote from our favorite scientist, and you have to fill in the blank by typing the word in. Here 
we go. Good call, buffoon. Yes, the weather. How could you be humbled by someone of such limited girth? You shame the organization from recom. Um, easy, easy peasy. I have a distinct memory with this quote. Bow, bow. Significance. I remember saying, uh, I think I was watching recom cutscenes on stream, and Vexen said this, and I was like, me when I get killed by Keynote in Among Us. How could I be humbled by someone of such limited significance? Uh, that was just a shot for no reason. <laughs> Number two. This goes so hard, I have to say. <laughs> yeah, me and I lose the keynote. Uh, that might have been the recom... I think it's in the recom highlights, that's why I remember it. Um, he ripped me away from the one thing I care about. I don't require blank. Give me my research. This line is so hard. I don't require humanity. Give me my research. That's so cool. Like, what a cool thing to say. What a psychopath. <laughs> That's awesome. Number three. Oh. Oh, I remember voicing this <laughs> in the days video. You're fucked today, Roxas. <laughs> this line is so creepy. Ugh. The heebie jeebies. You're mine today, Roxas. Uh, alright. <laughs> there you go. Number four. Ew! Uh. You know, I'm not sure on this one. I have a good guess, but... Pity to be so cringe. As you're only able to see the surface of things, I should not expect you to appreciate my true might. I had to spell it right. Oh. Oh, I got it. Yeah. Ignorant. Um, pity to be so fucked. <laughs> pity to be so ignorant. Number five. <clears throat> um, now, who do you think will defend the castle if you two go blanking off? Well, if he's talking about Alias and, and Dylan, what do you think they're off doing together? <laughs> If you two go jerking off. I said running. Skipping. Okay. I do like the idea of Dylan and Alias locking arms and, and skipping away. Um, that's that's cinema. Alright, number six. Uh, <clears throat> well, Goofy is definitely <laughs> helping out here with the picture. Uh, I am Vixen. I have come to collect your Funko Pops, Sora. I don't know why recently I've, I've had this obsession with <laughs> making some of the characters really into Funko Pops. Uh, like David Madsen <laughs> and Mark Jefferson or whatever in Life is Strange. Come to collect your debt, uh, which Goofy uh, says you're a debt. Sora, do you owe this guy something? Of course not. Number seven. Is he? <laughs> you know. Uh... I have no idea. Fortunately, you are in good hands. I will be by your side today to help. How did so many of you get that? Stimulate. I said cultivate, which doesn't really make sense. Um, that in insensate mind of yours, which I have to admit is not really a word that I know or use. So let's learn. Lacking physical sensation. Insensate. 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 That's a good word. Look at Kingdom Hearts. I love when I, I still learn new words. That's like how I first got into reading stuff as a kid. Video games and especially Kingdom Hearts. The strategy guide. Alright, number eight. <clears throat> oh. Um, how disappointing. So this is all they meant when they said blank. We've been chasing the wrong box this whole time. <clears throat> yeah, it took me too long. This is a great gag, though. And it's like... It's underrated how well this is weaved into... Um... Like, the KH3 Disney shit. Like, the fact that 
they took the one world where this this sort of conflation between the metaphysical and the physical heart um like, like it's the only place where that can work really like maybe wonderland but not really um i think it's just uh, so clever and so fun number nine Uh. Okay, <laughs> so I'm a scientist. Blank is what I do. Uh, I think because this is GBA com, it's a little different. Yeah, baby. Experimentation is what I do because you wouldn't say experiments is what I do. Um, so they changed the line for uh, recom. And I don't think he says the yes in GBA, which is a shame. In, in one instance, uh, right there, I think Recom is superior to GBA. All right, number 10. <clears throat> I hate this I place. Hate this place. Oh. <laughs> well, James probably should have seen that one coming, though. I am a scientist. <laughs> uh, you know, blank or what I do. <gasps> yes. Yes! Oh, it's so good. What a great line. Just a great line reading, to be honest. Experiments are what I do. Yes. Number 11. Uh... So much to inspect. I really don't know. Hee hee, interesting. So much to inspect, to kiss. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say dissect, but I was like, uh, does he really, like, obviously he probably only means that, like, figuratively. I don't think he really, I mean, maybe he dissects those replica bodies, but I was like, it could be dissect, but I went with uh, research. All right, number 12. <laughs> Blank. Blank. <laughs> great one. Great pull. You're going to need the uh, the image here to help you out in the game. Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Zexian stubbing his toe on the stairs on the way down. Shit. Zexian. Zexian. I'm right here. What the fuck do you want? If you don't shut your ugly ass up. Number 13. Uh, blank, where are you? Answer me. Ah, there you are. Didn't I warn you not to wander off, child? Uh, I mean, hopefully this is just identify the character. Um, unless he's referring to him as infant. <laughs> as baby. <laughs> baby, where are you? Yeah, Ienzo. Uh, I get it. It, uh, it pairs nicely with the Zexian question. Alright, 14. <clears throat> no, no, no thanks, Show X. Um, um, let me ban this robot. Goodbye! Uh, what's this? If you remain bound by the chain of memories and refuse to believe, uh, what is truly found inside your heart? Slave to, uh, twisted memories. There you go. It's the one where he says the thing. Alright. Fifteen. Ooh. You know, <laughs> I might be overthinking this. That's your job to find out, blank. If he just says rocks is here... I said fool. Idiot! <laughs> idiot! Idiot! Longhead! Alright, whatever. 16. Idiot. Uh. Oh wait, I think it's this. I think it's this creepy creeper line. <laughs> ah, that's my blank. I'll be watching from the shadows then. He does look so gross. Look at his incredibly sallow face. Yeah, he goes, that's my boy. Uh, to Luxord, which I hate. That's my kitten. <laughs> oh, <laughs> 17. Gross. 
Uh, I think it's this? Don't be absurd, the blank is gone. She cannot return from the realm of darkness of her own volition. <clears throat> which, uh, I think it's... which. <laughs> yeah. But is Maleficent technically a dark fairy? You know, she gets misspecied by Vexen and Sid. Sid in the uh, KH1 text bubble. She's a witch, man. She's a witch. 18. Ooh. I voiced this one as well. It's so good. Uh, but don't hold yourself up to my standards. Little steps for a little blank. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, in the video where I voice... Well, it's from the day's video, but I remember it from editing the... Uh, the video where I voice all the lines. Little steps for little minds. Um, what's up, uh, Nevo? Nevo first? Nevo? Thank you for the uh, the raid there. Hope you had a good stream. We're just doing some trivia. Um, Alright, number 19. And uh, Nintendo Dogs for Switch. Thanks for the follow. Uh, the Chamber of Blank. Uh, which... One is a. There's two chambers. Um. His usual spot. The Chamber of Secrets? Uh, could be. Chamber of Repose, yeah. It was either that or, uh, Chamber of Waking. Uh, which I don't remember Vexen saying that. Alright, 20. Uh, you are half correct. Let us say that he is not the Ansem with which you are familiar. He is Ansem, and he is not Ansem. Perhaps a blank best conveys the idea. Bow. <clears throat> a nobody. An early drop of nobody in the series, although I don't think he says this in uh, GBA com, so this will be release-wise after KH2 really uh, puts the term into use. 21. Uh, I don't know if it's this or if I'm underthinking it. Men like us, in the pursuit of blank, we sometimes make terrible mistakes, lose sight of our mission to help people. It is a good quote. I believe I picked this as his best scene uh, for that best moments video. Yep, in the pursuit of science. Alright, 22. Uh... I'm gonna say this, but I don't think it's right. At last, a modicum of intelligence. My blank is paying off. <laughs> yeah, you gotta throw this in more often. Damn. Ah, teaching. I went with mentoring. Uh, eight people got that one. 23. I was just, I wanted to say tutelage as well. I believe it's this. If you continue to seek the girl, nominate, the blank will tighten, you'll lose your heart, and end up becoming Marluxia's pawn. Um, this is one of my favorite scenes in the series, so I would hope I got this one. Um, I think it's Shackles. There you go. Vexen's End, one of the best. Uh, number 24. I've been waiting for this, gave up a normal life in order to plant myself in the organization, and when I heard Xehanort had gone looking for you, I realized it was my chance to find you as well. For you see, I, too, wish to blank. Vexen girl, you are like if an eel were a person. <laughs> but sadly, I am only an eel. Yes. Uh, to atone, that's his favorite word in Cage 3 Alright, final question, 25. I, too, wish to good. <laughs> yeah! One of uh, me and Kiwi's favorite. <laughs> A blank! From Melmem. I don't know why we like it so much. I think it's because he sounds so... A daddy! <laughs> he sounds so, like, incredulous. Like, you're from a city. A city! Alright. Let's see our leaderboard. I think I did really well on this. Definitely top three. In third, it's PJ. In second, it's me. And in first, it's vodka? <laughs>
Oh my god. Congratulations? I guess. Wow. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong with vodka? Wow. Yikes. Really bad luck. Bad for the brand. Fueled by pure hatred. <laughs> Lost the Lark Scene trivia. Won this. I wonder who won the Lark Scene trivia. Lark Scene. Uh, that was uh, Cool's guy, it looks like. But that was the, just about Lark Scene. What about the Lark Scene quotes? Oh, that was me. That was me. I won that one. Looks like I won the Lark Scene trivia. Vexen trivia was won by Vodka. Vodka doesn't even, it doesn't even, she's not even in the top five uh, for Lark Scene quotes. That's funny. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. For our top five and fourth place, it's Vex uh, Apollo. And in fifth, it's Brian. And for our top ten, Soul Blossom in sixth, Buffoon in seventh, Dendorado in eighth, Shroom in ninth, and Ace Productions in tenth. <laughs> All right, thank you to Just James for making that. I'm going to say this was a uh, 57. 55, pretty close. All right, Hurdle. Uh, at dusk, I will think of you, for sure. Uh, Daisy, thank you for the 37 months. Happy DDD Day. I can't wait to see those little dream-eating bitches again. I can. I can wait a good amount, if I, if I so please, but... I was given thousands of dollars, so now I, I gotta do that. Uh, Alright, Spottle. Yesterday's was Sia. I did get it. Um, okay, so post-2001, not European. Um, still waiting for Justin Bieber to show up, so we're going there. He's like my new Olivia Rodrigo guess. Okay, male pop. Or no, not pop. So, ooh, we're not from North America or Europe. So we have South America, Asia, and Africa, or Oceania. Um, could it be Hozier? <laughs> He's from New Zealand, right? Or no. Is he from UK? He's Irish? Oh, okay, never mind. Never mind. I cheated a little bit to see. <laughs> All right, so now I am. Uh, let's think... We're not pop, so let's think rap, maybe? Because I was thinking, oh, it could be like a K-pop guy, but then I don't even know. Besides Psy, I don't know any solo male K-pop artists, and K-pop is not going to be uh, its own genre. It'll just be pop. Um, so... We're post-2009. Uh, damn. Let's just pick... A country or a, a continent. <sighs> Could it see if it were Bad Bunny? It would be really close to Bieber. He might even be above Bieber. So I don't think it's him. Solo male. Oh God. Let's just pick, okay, let's pick, uh, just to see if we're in Oceania. I'm going to say ACDC. Okay, so we're not there. We're also not rock. Okay, so South America, Asia, Africa. Uh, I might need help. I mean, I'll just guess... Let's just guess Psy, <laughs> just to see if we're in Asia. Okay, so we are, but we're not South Korean. So a solo male, but not pop artist. Is he like a Japanese rapper? I'm gonna have to look, I need help. Um, anyone, any ideas? I won't know this, Vodka says I won't know. Oh, the stream elements. I wanted to shut that off. All right, well. Could be the Beatles. Yeah, it could be the Beatles. I feel like the Beatles were a solo rapper from Asia. I promise I won't know. Okay. So let's just let's just quit, I guess. Let's just give up. There's just no way to get it. Beyonce. <laughs> Beyonce, uh, Madonna, Maroon 5, uh, Green Day, uh, Rage Against the Machine, and, of course, Enya. Enya's not in the top thousand? 
Zendaya then. What do we have? Joji. Oh. Okay. Um, well, I thought Joji was, uh, isn't that, uh, <laughs> is it Filthy Frank? Is that who I'm thinking of? Let me, I don't, I don't want to seem stupid, but let me look this up. Joji. Uh, yeah, he's Filthy Frank. Okay, so I've heard of this person. I knew that, uh, Joji was also Filthy Frank or Pink Guy. Um, but, yeah. Alright, well, yeah, I was never gonna get that anyway, even though I had heard of it, but what can you do? Alright, we're going to Dream Job Level 1, unfortunately. Just fucking strap in, I guess. It's gonna be a long night. Um, bye, VOD people.